The Raspberry Pi has become the most popular platform for exploring the know-hows of Internet of Things. It is redefining the nuances for a new era of minimal operating software. And if it's about operating systems, you can be sure to find Microsoft Windows just around the corner. So we'll be talking about the Windows 10 today, but not the one on your desktops or laptops. In fact, not even the one on your smartphones. This Windows operating software runs devices even smaller than any of those. Hello all attendees, I'm Sidhan from Edureka, and I welcome all of you to today's learning journey. Now, if you've been tinkering with the Raspberry Pi, you must try installing the Windows 10 IoT code on it and know the operating systems that come as a part of the Windows 10 IoT. Now, let me course you through today's agenda so that you have a clearer idea about this session. So we'll be looking at the Windows 10 IoT and its variants first, then I'll briefly introduce you to the Raspberry Pi, and we'll finally talk about the Windows 10 IoT core and get on with its installation upon the Pi. Let us begin then. So Windows, that is fairly popular amongst operating systems, is now available for the Internet of Things. It is actually a revamp of the old operating system, Windows Embedded. But with IoT taking the world by a storm, the Windows 10 IoT is now its official operating software for all embedded things and systems. Now the Windows for Internet of Things comes in three packages. The Windows 10 IoT Enterprise comes for the embedded systems that draw more power and require more resources, like the bulkier systems in high-grade or industrial-grade machinery. The Windows IoT Mobile Enterprise comes for more minimal systems like the ones in our televisions or handheld devices. And the Windows 10 IoT Core comes for the smallest embedded systems in IoT like even minute combinations of microcontrollers and microprocessors. So you can scale up or scale down these options according to your IoT devices and the requirements. Now the Raspberry Pi is a small IoT device. Popularly called the credit card size computer, it is the smallest and the most minimal form of a computer that our world has seen so far. And the traditional operating systems we use today were not designed keeping such small scales in mind. So they don't work on the low power and the few resources that are at the disposal of such small devices. In fact, most of them won't even support the chips that IoT developers use today. So a wide range of IoT specific operating systems were developed with minimal designs to run effectively on all IoT devices and to support the diverse hardware footprints and feature needs of the Internet of Things. And Raspbian, which is the official operating system for Raspberry Pi, is also one such operating software among the many others. Now, we've already covered this operating software in our other sessions. So for anything related to that, you could refer to the recorded videos of our previous sessions. Today, however, we'll be digging into another popular OS for the Raspberry Pi, which is the Windows 10 IoT Core. Now the Windows 10 IoT Core is the smallest out of the three operating systems launched by Windows for the Internet of Things. It in fact is the smallest operating system that Windows has ever had. And you'll be happy to know that this one comes for free. Now this Windows for small devices is so minimal that its interface is unlike any of the other Windows operating systems and it is almost like that of a bare Windows kernel. But it is just about enough to power the things in IoT, run all of its applications and ensure the seamless flow of data to and from the cloud. It also supports many other boards used in IoT development, but we'll be focusing on its installation on the Raspberry Pi today. Now its minimal interface is for better convenience as whenever an application gets deployed to run on the Windows IoT core, the Windows interface will disappear and all you'll be left with is the application running on it. Now this is because the Windows 10 IoT has been designed to run both headed and headless, which essentially means with and without a display. So your device becoming the application would reduce confusion while running headless. This also means that we can have only one active application running at a time, while there could be other background applications running. All that said, I think it's finally time we went over the installation of the Windows 10 IoT core on the Raspberry Pi. So I have a Raspberry Pi 3 here with me already and a class 10 SD card of 16 GB upon which we'll be flashing our operating system. And please make sure that your SD card is at least class 10 and has a capacity of at least 8 GB. Without these, you might face compatibility issues with the Windows IoT core operating system. Now the Samsung Evo or the SanDisk Ultra would be your best choices. So the first thing to do is to format the SD card. I recommend using the SD card formatter software that is available for free online. You could also use the default formatter on your system, but I'd avoid using it as it does not optimize the partitions required by the operating system and the storage on SD card, and it compromises on the entire capacity that is available. So go on with the SD card formatter. So it is really easy to get. We start by opening a browser and typing SD card formatter into it and hit enter. So you can go to the first link 
and scroll down once the website opens. So you can see SD memory card formatter download for Windows and Mac. Since we need the Windows operating system to flash the Windows IoT core onto the Raspberry Pi, we'll be going for the Windows version of it. So click on it and your download should be initiated. So once your download is done, find the setup file and install SD card formatter onto your system. I've already done that, so I'll straight away go and open the app. And here it is. So you'll have to know which drive is your SD card mounted on. For that, we can go to my PC or this PC. So in my case, it is the F drive. So I'll make sure that the card is pointing to the F drive and I'll click on format. It'll give you an alert saying that it is all data on this card. Hit yes. There we go. Now we are ready for the Windows IoT core download. So we go back to the browser and we type Windows IoT. So the first website is the official website for Windows 10 IoT core. Once the web page loads, go to the download section and you can see there's a download link saying download the Windows 10 IoT core dashboard. So this is what we'll be downloading. So we'll be installing the operating system through this dashboard itself. Let's go to the download folder, find the setup file, double click on it and click install. So it's a 58.1 MB file. So it is getting downloaded on the Windows 10 IoT Core dashboard from where we'll be installing and flashing it onto our SD card. So once the setup is done, the Windows IoT dashboard should pop up automatically. If it does not, you can search it on your system as IoT dashboard and open it. So now with the dashboard in our system, we can start installing the Windows IoT core onto our SD card. We can do that by setting up a new device. Let's click on set up new device. So once you do that, you can see a few columns that you will have to fill. So the first is device type. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3. So I'll choose Raspberry Pi 3. What OS build do I want? Well, I want the Windows 10 IoT core. So I'll click on that. Which drive is my SD card on? It's on the F drive. That's correct. And you can rename your device from here. Let's say I'm going to name it min win RPI. And you'll have to set a password for it. So I'm going to go with RPI 3 win 10. I have to repeat the same. RPI 3 win 10. So now that the passwords are in place, accept the license agreement and click on download and install. So it'll give you a pop up about erasing the SD card. Click on continue. So your downloading has now started. So you might get another pop up, which is the IoT utilities trying to install on your system. Press yes. Then you should get a command line window where the OS will be flashed upon your SD card. So with that done, we finally have the operating system on our SD card. There will be another prompt asking you to format disk. Please hit cancel. This is very important. Do not hit format disk. Hit on cancel. That's it. It says your SD card is ready. So go back to your my PC. Make sure you eject your SD card. Once it is safe to remove, take it out and put it back in your Raspberry Pi. So the next thing to do is to connect all your peripherals to your Raspberry Pi and power it on. Now most operating systems will require you to configure some basic settings when you boot them up for the first time. But since the Windows 10 IoT core is the smallest version of Windows, it almost has negligible settings to be configured. It will only ask you to set up your default language and if you want to connect to any Wi-Fi network. And that is it. So now upon starting the Pi, you should see the Windows logo. You can see the welcome screen for the Windows IoT 10 core. Now since it has been designed for minimal and low cost devices, the configuration upon the first boot has also been kept minimal. So that does it. We are finally booted into the settings of the Windows IoT core. So let us set the default language as English and hit next, after which it will ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Let us say we'll skip this step and we can also do it later from the home screen or the desktop. So that's it. You finally successfully booted the Windows IoT core and it is ready for use. So here we have Kotana. You can record your voice for better speech recognition. I'll skip this for now and let's say got it. So this is your desktop for the Windows 10 IoT core. You can see there's device info, which is mainly your home screen. It tells you the IP address and everything. 
there's a command line window there's also a browser and there are tutorials for you to make the most of the windows iot code there's a settings button there's a power button as well now the reason behind your desktop being so minimal is that the windows iot has been designed to run both headed and headless applications so to develop applications you can do it on your laptop and then push it remotely onto your pi upon which the pi will become that application you can use the visual studio for it so now you can go back to your iot dashboard now the iot dashboard also offers some functionalities for you to remotely control your pi or your windows iot core so you can go to the my devices on your dashboard and you can see there's a raspberry pi 3 with the name minwin rpi the name that we gave it in the start now from here you can open it in device portal to add extended features you can launch a command line window you can launch iot remote client you can shut it down you can restart it plus you can add another pi to it you can also connect it to the azure cloud for intelligent analysis and advanced cloud computing and also there are pre packages which can directly be deployed to your raspberry pi so you basically won't need visual studio you will not need much of coding you can directly download these pre packages and run them to test the power of windows iot core so that's it you can see the settings offers some basic preferences there's network and wi-fi there's bluetooth there's cortana there's a command line window there's an internet browser and there are other tutorials to make the most of windows 10 iot core so that will be all i hope you followed how to install the windows 10 iot core so that brings us to the end of our session well happy learning thank you and cheers i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning